Hey everybody, how you doing? Good morning. Where's Pastor Paul? Y'all know where Pastor Paul is? Alright, well, hey, why don't you follow me and come here a second while we're waiting for Pastor Paul to come around. I will show you something very important to do. So come on, follow me and come with me. Come on, let's go. All right, thanks for coming along. Now I'm gonna show you something very important here. I wanna show you how to properly clean a toilet. This is so important. This is a toilet cleaner. Uh, this is, I don't have any other toilet uh, cleaning stuff, but the Clorox cleanup spray will work perfectly. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of nasty. And you want to clean a toilet so clean that you can drink out of it when you're done. So you just do this, you get it, you spray this stuff all around, and you scrub, you get under the cracks, and you get to the bottom of the toilet. And, clean all around it and you don't you also you can't just do inside the toilet you also have to do around here and the bottom of this and something that's very important you also need to get the base of the toilet not just in front but all the way in back too and when you do that your toilet will be much cleaner and much better and your parents will be really excited that you know how to clean the toilet properly now then, you just can't just leave it there. You have to dry it off, but I will go get some paper towel and, and dry it off here in just a minute. But now you know how to properly clean the toilet. Inside, outside, in the back, all around, clean it. And then you wanna make sure you wipe down the walls too when you're done, all right? All right, well, the toilet's all clean and it's all dried and so that's good. And now, I don't see Pastor Paul, so I need to go find Pastor Paul. So I'll be right back. Oh! 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 Good morning, guys. Oh, I'm so glad to see you today. You know, I've noticed Pastor Byron's been working really hard around the church, so I thought I would do something nice for him and make him some lemonade. Do you guys like lemonade? All right, well, I'm gonna make him some lemonade. Here, first thing I need is some lemonade powder. Let me go and see. Uh, look, right here's the lemonade powder. All right, next thing I need is something to mix it in. Hmm, and I need some water. Oh, oh this will work. Let, let me go get some water. All right, got my water. Got my lemonade powder. Hmm, let's see. But it doesn't say how much to use for a bucket. Uh, We'll just use all of it. Alright, here we go. Oh, and it even comes with something nice to stir it with. Ah. Okay, got it all stirred up. Oh, I made a little mess there. Ah, of course, we need some cups. Alright, got cups. Alright, here we go. We're going to pour our lemonade into our cups. Oh, oh man, I'm making a mess. All right, there we go. All right, that looks about right. Okay, well, let me go see if I can find Pastor Myron. Oh, let me put my bucket away, clean up a little bit here. This away, Pastor Myron doesn't like a mess. All right, let me put this away. All right, everything's cleaned up. I got my lemonade out. Where's, oh, Myron, hey, Myron. Hey, Come on Pastor over Paul. here, look, I've seen how you've been working so hard today, and so I made you a nice glass of lemonade. Oh, awesome, thank you. All right, here, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's a good lemonade. Yeah. Here, here, let, let me top you up. You want some more? What? No, you didn't make lemonade in that, did you? Sure, I needed something to mix it in, and I found this bucket and the stir, and I thought this would be a great thing to make my lemonade in. You don't make lemonade with that or stir lemonade. That's for cleaning toilets. This is for cleaning toilets? Yes! Oh my goodness. Are and you I've serious? been using this for cleaning toilets. You can't use that. That's my toothbrush. toothbrush to clean the toilet, just like you wouldn't use the toilet brush to clean your teeth or make lemonade. Because 
Each brush was created with a purpose. We were created with a purpose too. And some of us were created to be good singers. And some of us were created to be good artists. And some of us were created to be good athletes. And maybe you're not good at any of those things, but God created you with a purpose. And all of us were created to glorify God. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus to do good things He planned long ago. So let that be your challenge this week. Ask God to show you your purpose and then use that purpose for His glory. Have a great week!